Hello and welcome back to North Kerguns. Uh, today we are back at the club at Longmore, um, and today's video we are looking at a sub three hundred pound PC, PCP across my icon. So while the weather's nice, let's head into the intro and have ourselves a look. So then, this is the Crossman Icon, uh, budget PCP, sub of £300, shockingly. Uh, have a close up look on the front, on the back, sorry. It's got a nice rubber butt pad, and what you think would be an adjustable P cheek piece, sorry, but it's not. The stock is synthetic, but moving along, it's got pistol grip, um, and then you do have a is that plastic I'm not sure what it is it feels plastic either way there's your trigger and your safety which is a switch on and off to it up here to the bolt which is it's got a nice little slot just here for when uh, cocked so it stays in place going down the rifle uh, on the underside of this now See into the sun, but there's your pressure gauge. Nice, nice underneath where I like it. You do have a floating barrel, your cylinder, all the way, uh, and a front um, fiber optic sight. And there is a at the front, and there's normally a rear sight, but I've taken that off to fit the scope. What do you get in the box? Well, you get this nice box. When you open it, obviously your rifle will be inside, facing that way. Uh, and you'll get, I can get it out. Come on. You get your 10 or 12, what is it? 12 shot magazine. Yeah, you get a 12 shot magazine in 177. You always get a bag of gubbins. So, <clears throat> what you get on the inside is well, there's your rear sight, it's uh, took off. But you do get a single shot tray, which is here, um, a fill probe, Allen keys, look at this one, to fix as on what is needed on your rifle. And as always, you get your book of destructions. Right then, a little bit about the rifle. Uh, the Crossman Icon, uh, it puts hunting or target shooting uh, platform to, to anyone really. It's a sub 300 pound gun um, and is good for starters or veterans of the air gun world. It delivers uh, an impressive performance, um, which we'll see short, shortly when we shoot down range. Um, it is also outfitted with a ergonomic, tactical, durable, black, all-weather synthetic stock. Um, so, let's talk technical stuff next. Let's talk technical um, about the Crossman. Uh, this particular one is a 177 bolt action. It does come in 2-2 with a very simple, easy-to-use sliding bolt. It also has a multi-shot magazine which comes 12 of 177 or 2 uh, 10 sorry in 2 2. The total length is 38 and a half inches or 98 centimeters and it weighs seven pounds without the scope so just over three kilos. Um, again that is before the scope is fitted. It comes with the crossman selector in front of your trigger for your safety which is very simple. Flick it forward, safety is off, flick it back and your safety is on. The trigger is also a two stage which is always nice. As I said, it does come with a synthetic stock, which is soft to the touch, and it's an ambidextrous stock, so good for both left and right handers. The barrel is a steel rifled barrel, giving you uh, a lot more accuracy um, downrange. 
front sight, which you can't see, is fiber optic and pretty clear and does normally have a back sight um, for elevation. It does come with dovetail mounts, which a scope can be fitted, 11mm dovetail. To fill it up, you use your probe, um, which you'll push in to the end, quickly, just here. Um, and you just use your hand pump or uh, a cylinder. Power wise, it does say it's up to 11 to 11 and a half pounds. So we'll test that in the chronograph test, shall we? So then, loading your multi shot magazine. So this is a 177 rifle, so it comes in a 12 shot mag. And as I said, the 22 comes in a 10 shot. Uh, so nice and easy to load these. Grab your pellet, not drop it, fling it in, spin. Next pellet. And then you just do this until your magazine is full. And there we go. Magazine is loaded. Now, chronograph time. The plan was to do the chronograph testing. But can you guess what idiots left his chronograph at home? So we'll switch back to the home range for the chrono test and then we'll head back here. I'm in the garden range. Let's give the uh, cross and icon a quick chronograph and we'll see what she does. So power wise wasn't quite getting the 11 and 11 and a half foot pounds as it said it would. Let's uh let's have a look shall we? Okay, so ooh, this is the powers we got. That was really low. Oh, man, yeah. Dropped again. Let's have a look. Energy, average foot per energy is 9.3. Oh, no. There we go. Average velocity was 701. Minimum was 535. Maximum, 757. Deviation of 222. That's a lot. But that could just be where it's warming up. I don't know. I don't know what these mean. But, yeah. That's a chrono test. Right then, so let's give it a pellet test. We've got target set at 25 yards. Um, we've got seven tins of lead, different types. <coughs> so let's uh, see what we can do. The right is an all little shot. We have our super fields, Air Arms Diablo fields, CSB exacts, super domes, WAFs, which is definitely going to be a no. FTs from HM Barracudas, that was pretty good. I don't know what happened with these ones somewhere, but that's 7 out of 9, that's 7 out of 10 there. And then it's just definitely a no for the 
greens, the uh, alloys. But that's them. My final thoughts on this rifle. You get what you pay for, sub £300. You're not going to be up there matching your air arms, uh, your Virox. Um, but it's okay. For a novice, um, it's good fun to play with. Um, what else? I'm never really a big fan of synthetic stocks. Never a big fan of these to start with anyway. I do like a nice wooden stock. Yes, I know my HFT gun is alloy. It's very pretty. <coughs> um, but it's, it's an okay gun. At 25 yards, I think with a little bit of tuning with... What well, so this one preferred the H&M Barracuda FTs. A few upsy downsy lefty rightsies, and that will be bang on where you want it, I reckon. Especially at 25 yards. Which, for a sub 300 pound rifle, you're not going to be reaching big big distances to start with, I don't think. Cons. Uh, the bolt can get very stiff. Which I don't like. Ooh, take his arm. Um, the bolt can get stiff. You can hear the hammer dong as it's shooting, um, and uh, the bolt does jump slightly every shot, so it will lift up. It does go back down, but you can visually see it in the corner of your eye doing a bit of this, as you can see. Um, that trigger, I actually think it is metal, by the way. It does feel metal. I wasn't sure it feels the same as the... Uh, that's a stock, but I think it is metal. Um, but yeah, all in all, it is a good little fun gun. But for a sub sub three hundred pound rifle, you get what you get, as I said. But it is good. Um, now, if you want one of these, they're imported by Range Right, um, and this particular one come from Big Dan over at Big Dan Air Guns in Essex. He does deliver. So I will leave a link in the description below for you to go and have a look at his website. Um, but yeah, go send some Dan some love. Um, he's also done his own review on this, so at least two of us. Um, I'll leave the link to his review in the uh, description below. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.